Hello and welcome to Two Minutes of Anatomy. I am Dr. Donald Ozello of Championship Chiropractic in Las Vegas, Nevada. On today's episode of Two Minutes of Anatomy, I'm gonna speak about the scapula. The scapula is the medical name for the shoulder blade. The scapula is a very important bone for upper body motion and function. The scapula is located on the posterior lateral superior aspect of the rib cage. The scapula is fairly triangular shaped. It has three borders, the superior border, the lateral border, which is also known as the axillary border, and the medial border, which is also known as the vertebral border, because it is the border that is closest to the spine. There is the superior angle, inferior angle, and lateral angle. Numerous muscles and ligaments attach to the scapula. In the posterior aspect of the scapula, there's a prominent ridge called the spine of the scapula or the scapular spine. It runs medial to lateral at a superior angle. Superior to the spine of the scapula is the supraspinatus fossa, which is the origin site of the supraspinatus muscle. Inferior to the spine of the scapula is the infraspinatus fossa, which is the origin site of the infraspinatus muscle. In the anterior side of the scapula, there is the coracoid process. The coracoid process is a small hook-like structure in the anterior superior lateral aspect of the scapula. It serves as an attachment point of several ligaments and several muscles, including the pectoralis minor muscle. The acromion is a continuation of the scapular spine. It hooks anterior and articulates with the clavicle, which is the medical name for the collarbone, to form the acromial clavicular joint, also known as the AC joint. Also located in the anterior side of the scapula is the subscapularis fossa. The subscapularis fossa is the origin point of the subscapularis muscle. 